Meanwhile, here's a question that is getting bigger by the day. Are Chinese vaccines failing? Beijing may not accept it. The World Health Organization may not accept it. Even the countries receiving Chinese shots may not accept it due to diplomatic restraints. But the failing efficacy of made in China shots is too obvious to ignore. In Indonesia, doctors who received Sinovac have become patients. Hundreds of them have tested positive despite full vaccination and tens of them have lost their lives. And then we have countries like the Seychelles, Bahrain and Mongolia, where the infections are rising despite half of their populations being fully vaccinated. All these countries mostly relied on Chinese vaccines and now they're being forced to ask some serious questions. Some of them should be directed at the World Health Organization too. Our next report tells you why. Indonesia is battling a resurgent virus. The Delta variant has triggered a crisis. The caseload has skyrocketed. The death toll is soaring. And the failing efficacy of a certain vaccine has triggered outrage. China's Sinovac. In August 2020, Indonesia signed a multi-billion dollar deal for 50 million doses of Sinovac. Ten months on, the Made in China shot has triggered a crisis. On the receiving end are Indonesia's doctors. At least 20 doctors have died despite being fully vaccinated with Sinovac. Ten of them died this month. And 31 other cases of doctor deaths are being investigated. Indonesia's health workers are alarmed. Around 90% of Indonesian doctors, 160,000 in total, have been vaccinated with the Chinese shot. Most of them are ending up sick. In the town of Kudus, 358 medical workers have tested positive in a two-week span. In central Java, 300 vaccinated doctors have been infected in one month. The health system is close to collapse. Questions are being raised on the Chinese-made shot. But Indonesia is not the only country seeking answers. Several countries that relied on Chinese vaccines now regret their decision. China has sold a total of 792 million doses to 43 countries. Out of these, 25 million doses have been donated. And 302 million doses have been delivered. In Mongolia, 52% of the population has been vaccinated, mostly with China's Sinopharm shots. On Sunday, it recorded 2,400 new infections, a quadrupling from a month before. In the Seychelles, 64% of the population has been fully vaccinated, making it the most vaccinated country in the world. But right now, Seychelles has more COVID cases per capita than India. 716 infections per 1 million people have been reported in the last seven days. In Bahrain, China's Sinopharm accounts for 60% of the vaccinations. But the rising infections in fully vaccinated people have forced the country to administer booster shots of a different vaccine. While there's no denying that vaccines are not foolproof in preventing infection, but the relatively low efficacy rates of Chinese shots is indeed becoming a cause of concern. It is also exposing the politics and fault lines in the global health infrastructure. On the 1st of June, Sinovac was validated for emergency use by none other than the World Health Organization. The health body vouched for its efficacy and international standards of safety. Now, it seriously needs to re-evaluate its assertions 
for the sake of its own credibility. Bureau Report, We Are World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.